Welcome to Jump Form. My name is George, and today I'm going to show you how to position form fields on your form. This is really useful when you want to change the look of your form. So follow me to my desktop right now. All right, here we have a demo form. So let me show you how to position our form fields. First of all, we can drag and drop our form fields right here. So for example, if I want to drag a date picker, we can just drag it inside of here. Now, what happens if you want to make it a little bit more compact? What if we want to make more roles? Well, we can select the field, go to properties, head on over to advance, and then click on shrink. Now you can see it just shrunk. Now let's do this with more of the elements. So let's select this one, advance, shrink. Let's do it with these also, shrink. And we can also shrink this one. You can see how they automatically locked in. Now, what happens if we want to shrink it, but we want to send it to a new row? So for example, if I select this one, it's on shrink, but we can move it to a new line. So there we switched it to a new line. And also we can drag and drop these if we want to move into a different position in the shrink position. Now let's remove the move to a new line for now. That's one of the ways you can position your, your form fields. Now, what happens if you want to go more advanced? Well, let's go to our form designer, head over to style, drag all the way down and go to advanced designer. This will open up the advanced designer so we can customize it even more. So for example, if we go into form layout, we have this option to enable form columns. Now be aware that you need to have at least one of the form fields shrink so we can have enabled this section on the advanced designer. Now, if I enable this, now we can add more rows. So for example, now we have two, if we go to three, we have three, we can do four, five, and use the rows that you need. So for example, in this case, we'll keep it at two and it just divides it by two. And if we wanna change the padding for the elements on the form, we can use this line spacing. So for example, if I go lower, it makes it more compact. If I go higher, it stretches it more. Now we also have the vertical padding. We do this, the horizontal padding, keep it like that. And if we want to customize even further, we can use CSS. Now let's go ahead and go into CSS and let's use some code so you know how to use it. Now, be aware that the codes that we're going to use in this video, they will be available on the link on top of this video and in the description. Now, the first code that we're going to use is that we're going to divide this into 25% without using the advanced designer. In this case, we're using CSS to accomplish this. Now, see right here, we use this code and it's telling it to divide it in 25%. Now, if we want to do 33%, it divides it in three. And if we want to do 50%, that does it in half. Now, what happens if we want to do this only for the second row? Well, there's a different code for that. Now let's add the new code to affect only the second row. So for example, if I add this code, it's affecting the second row by 50%. Now, if we want to do this 33%, see how it changes. If we want to do 75%, it uses 75% of the row. Now let's add another code. So for example, if we want to set all the rows to 33%, we can do it via this code. Now we want to do it by 50%. We can do it that way and it's affecting all the rows. 25%, which is four rows. Now it's 25%. Now, what if we want to use this RTL from right to left? Now we can do this via code also. So let's use this code. For example, we'll add this code right here. And now it's displayed right to left, all via CSS. You can do even more with CSS. Well, that is how you position form fields on JotForm. We thank you all for watching and we'll see you on our next tutorials.